This is my Christmas vlog. We're gonna see if we can beat this train. I had to put this part in for my grandson. Let's see if we can beat it. get a tree but first we need to smoke this brisket and get our brisket chili ready for the trip all right my husband carved off approximately almost four pounds of fat and then we're rubbing it down with organic mustard the ingredients for this rub will be in the description of this video dice up some red pepper green pepper onion and garlic and then I'm using high heat and so therefore I've chosen avocado oil to saute all of these and I have some poblano and Anaheim peppers in the broiler. Meanwhile the brisket is on the Traeger. We've had that Traeger for a long time. My husband is putting on some apple juice. I've taken off the outer skin and deseeded the peppers and added a can of fire roasted tomatoes to the mix as well as the tri blend of beans and I use strained tomatoes out of the glass jar again and this is all of the spices that I'm using basil, chipotle powder, cumin, chili powder, and black pepper and of course salt. Tonight we're gonna have to do the Texas crutch method because we don't have that time. So when grilling over low heat the temperature of the meat rises slowly for the first few hours of cooking but then it'll hit a plateau and pitmasters call this the stall. And so um, what happens is it's similar to, to when our skin sweats. And so the stall happens because as the meat temperatures rise, it releases moisture, which then evaporates from the surface and cools the meat even as it's cooking. Sounds kind of contradictory, but heating and cooling at the same time but at low temperatures this is exactly what happens and the result is a deadlock on the grill. With the juice just scoop off some of that fat, add that in, check out my shorts, I've got a video on what to do with your leftovers. Alright, the next day we got up super early, we're on our way to Evergreen Mountain to get a Christmas tree. This is an annual trip with the Cruiser Club, so all of us have Land Cruisers, well we have a Lexus but that's considered a land cruiser. Anyway, there's about 15 trucks going up this mountain at the same time. We drove for quite a long time. There was a lot of potholes. Super bumpy. Imagine your bladder full going over all these potholes. And it just seemed to go on and on and on forever. At times, the road was super narrow. Not to mention we're on a, a mountainside and the there's a cliff that just drops off. So being a passenger on this trip was not always fun. It was scary at times. Of course the scenery was beautiful. Here's a little waterfall that we, you know, kind of drove by and through. I stepped out of the vehicle to give you a weather report. We are on our way to Evergreen Mountain and it is snowing. We have approximately six to, I don't know, 10 inches out here. And we've got a Land Cruiser stuck uh, ahead of us as well as behind us. And I think we might be stuck too. So let's uh, turn the camera around and let's have a look. are letting air out of their tires. And I'm pretty sure all the females have to go potty by now. We've been climbing this mountain for hours now. All four tires at once, deflating. And did I mention that there's a group of Jeeps on their way down? So there is a lot going on here right now at this very moment. Reporting live from Evergreen Mountain, I'm Carol Lynn.
thank God somebody had an adult porta potty. <laughs>